Our number system is very clever. It's based on place value and this allows us to be able to write a number, a big number, very easily just using these digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that we have and putting by putting them in the right place value we can create whatever number we want to. So for example if you have an enormous number like 353,209,300 you can write that as follows. You can write it 353,209,300 um, and it looks like that. Now here we can see that basically these numbers, where they're placed, helps to determine what it is. So this 3, because it's over here, we know is 300 million. And this 3, because it's over there, is 3 million. And this 3, because it's over there, we know is actually 300. So that's what we're going to have a quick look at again today. You should know all of this, so it's just a little reminder. Imagine I have this number here. Uh, let me get a pen. It'll be, let's have this number like this. Then each of the places that it's in tells me exactly what it is, what each of those digits actually mean. So they mean different things depending on the place they're in. Um, and certainly in the beginning, it's quite helpful often to put it into a place value table. So we'll start at the right and we'll start from the right of the number and just put that in. Because this shows us very clearly what each of them mean. So first of all, just have a look at your place value table. It tells you that the first thing you start with is the units, right? So this 4 is 4 units. Then as you go up, each time you go up you get 10 times more. So this is the tens, there are no tens in this number. Then the next one is hundreds and so this 5 is actually 5 hundreds. Then the next is the thousands place, so this is 1000. The next is the ten thousands place, so this is 20,000. The next is the 100,000 place, so this is 300,000, 10 times more. This is the millions place, so this is 8 million. This is the 10 millions, so this is 90 million. And this is the 100 millions, so this is 700 millions. So we can read this out. It's 798 million, 321,504. Another quick example, if we had that, we can put it into this place value table, starting from the right, and then we can easily see, well, what do we have here? We've got, this is 10 million, so it's 20 million. This is just million, so this is 3 million. So we've got 23 million. Then we've got 5,112. Okay, imagine I am asked to compare these two numbers here. So I'm asked to compare 361,012 and 359,999, and I want to know which is bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into the place value table, each of them. And I can see here quite easily that they're both similar numbers in the, in the sense that they're both around, they've got 300,000 in them, so they're quite nice big numbers. But can you see here, I can see this has got 60,000, whereas this has only got 50,000. The rest is not going to be important if I just want to know which is bigger, because the minute you've got 60,000 rather than 50,000, all the other little bits are not going to make any difference. So the bigger number of these two is this one, because the 60,000 is bigger than the 50,000 in the place value. Let's have a look at this number line here. What we're doing in this number line is we're going from 40,800 to 40,900. Pay careful attention to what's staying the same and what's changing. We're staying in the 40,000s, but we're going from 40,800 to 40,900. 
Let's just underline that very carefully so we see it. There's 40,800 to 40,900. So hopefully it's quite easy for you to see that the sort of jump we're talking about is a jump of, oh, that's an ugly 100, but a jump of 100, right? So what we want to know, if we want to know, say, for example, what this point A is, well, it's halfway along this path, this path of 100 from here to here. Well, what's halfway of 100? Half of 100 is 50. So if you've gone from 40,800, 50 steps along, you'll end up being somewhere like 40,850. Okay, here's one I'd like you to try for yourself. I first want you to see if you can tell me what number could be at this red dot. Well, what number will be at this red dot if I tell you this red dot is the halfway point between 28,000 and 29,000? And then I want you to give me what number could possibly be at this black arrow here. Give me an approximation. This is in your homework books, so pause the video now and try, and we'll have a look together. Okay, so hopefully what you noted here is that you're going from 8,000 to 9,000. Well, 28,000 to 29,000, but what's changing is that thing in the thousands place. So you're taking a jump of 1,000. So if you're only going to jump to halfway, well, half of 1,000 is 500, so this thing would be 28,500. And now here, when you've gone to this black arrow, you've gone a little bit further up from 28,500, but you haven't got all the way to 29,000. So I'd say this is probably somewhere around 28,700.